Transfer of embryos considered to be viable has failed to result in positive pregnancy sufficiently often in a patient. So they have they have a different they have come out with a new definition. But I won't go to that cumulative definition because that will confuse you at this point of time. But they normally say that when embryos were good, embryos were good and they were uh, they were uh, viable embryos, but they have not given us a pregnancy. We call it an RIF. So they have not specified, they are not talking about yep. euphoid embryos here. So now, the issue with us is that why do we have different definitions and none of them are actually very reliable. Sir, Abhinita, inko so here we have got ART patients are a heterogeneous cohort. So we may get a woman who's less than 35 or we may get a woman who's more than 35. There can be male factor, female factor, AMH factors. So they, they can all, so we, we can't say, uh, we can't have a standard definition of putting 10 embryos or 3 embryos or 3 attempts because the woman may be different. So 3 embryo transfers in a woman less than 35 will be different in 3 embryo transfers in a woman more than 42. Yes, why so? Can anyone tell me why so? Why as the woman's age is advancing, the embryos may not be of the same quality? Chances of aneuploidy is high after the age of 40 or excellent. almost eight. Excellent. Excellent. So basically, so you'll you'll agree that all the definitions which they gave initially doesn't fit into the place because they are for different age groups. You'll find that we may be doing an IVF for a girl, young girl who's 22, 32, 34, and, and my practice around 